Ali Bertucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia. And I'm very excited to be with all of you here today. Yay! Yay! Thank you all. Oh, I love these sounds. It's so much fun. So I have been running around like a chook with no head. Terrible analogy, but very true. Uh, because I'm just getting used to all of this technology, new technology we have here, but everything seems to be going well. And I think we even have some Facebook people here for the first time. Shout out to our Facebook people. If you are from Facebook, please comment so that I can see if I can see you. Oh, Bruno Batucci, hello there. Did you like me putting all of your hellos and everything on the screen? That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing that while it was playing the cute music. Um, oh, Suzanne's over on Facebook. I can see your name and everything. I'm so excited by this. Thank you, Bruno. You get another clap. Well done, Bruno. <laughs> and I can even see reactions over on Facebook. So I was seeing all these like thumbs up sort of going across the screen and I'm thinking, what are they? And that's because you're giving me thumbs up over on Facebook. But you can give me a thumbs up on YouTube too. I don't know if I'll see that. Oh, I just saw a little heart. That's a bit exciting. <laughs> so how is everyone today? What is happening? If you are new to our channel and you have no idea who I am and what I'm talking about. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia and we make cards. We do other things as well, but mainly handmade cards. So if you're looking for a hobby, if you live in Australia and you're looking for a new hobby, or maybe you've been watching us for a while, you're one of those friendly stalkers that sits in the background and just watches me, you know, entertain you. <laughs> Hopefully you laugh along with me. <laughs> I need this a bit closer because I think I'm going to have fun with this today. <laughs> so hopefully you're one of those people. If you are, please say hello. I love seeing your name pop up in the chats. And you can head over to kylibatucci.com at any time. Uh, sign up for our newsletter if you like. It's a really great way to connect with us and to make sure that you get all of our updates. And if you want a catalogue or you have questions about card making or you don't know where to start, we are peeps. We're happy to look after you. So please let us know if there's anything that we can do. Now I have one last thing to do on my screen to make sure that everything is looking hunky-dory. I think it is actually okay. Ooh, ooh, because I had one last camera. You know, this is one thing that you will learn about Kylie is even if I'm organized, I'm not. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so organized today. This is the best. And Bruno's like, does the other camera work? And I literally picked it up and it was flat. <laughs> so it is now charged and it's looking good. And I think we have the camera working, but we will soon find out. And if not, we'll fix it together because we're all in this together, right? We'll help each other out because you know what I'm like. Now, the other question that I'm going to ask you all do we know what the next question is? Everyone that watches us here on a regular basis knows what I'm going to ask next. It's time for a Beveragino, people. Get your Beveragino. What Beveragino do you have? Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. Does it look all right? Yes. Is that okay? I don't know. I'm about to find out. No. I don't know that. how to test it. I don't to know. See. I think this is this. Up. Hi, everyone. Oh, yes. The light. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Oh, that's much better. Thank you, Bruno. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think it's there. I think it looks like it's there. Should we test it while while you're here? Just uh, which one is it? That, that one. one. Here yeah. we go. I'll move that out of the way. You'll get a sneak peek of something to do with Bruno's hand. Hopefully. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I love it when technology works. Oh, you look so handsome, oh, Bruno. Handsome. <laughs> See, you <later>. See you. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Oh, this is the best. Bruno's being very kind. He's going to a funeral this morning. And it happened very quickly and I'd already planned this. So he's going for the family, which is very kind of him. But yes, it was a very sad a friend of ours that passed. We actually never met her in person. That sounds so random. But during COVID, we got to know her 
through our church and on Zoom, and we never actually got to meet in person. Isn't that the saddest? Oh, COVID's so annoying. So what else is happening? Yes, I was telling you about my Bevergino before we tested the down-facing camera to make sure it's all working. Um, so my Bevergino today is a little different, and Bruno will be really proud of me. I have it in my Stampin' Up! cup. <gasps> Look, isn't that the coolest? Um, because I may have had an accident with some beverage in here this week. Yes, there was a spillage. So this one has a lid that I just have to remember to close. So can you all remind me to close it after I take a sip? I really should have got the straw, but I can't find it. It's the life of Kylie, right? So I have peppermint tea that I have made cold. I put it in the fridge. It is so delicious. I feel like I've made my own Starbucks, but without the sugar. Isn't that exciting? It's Lisa Curcio here. Oh, I saw someone say, hello, Lisa Curcio. Let's have it. Oh, hello, Lisa Curcio. Yes, I'm very excited with the new setup. Thank you, my friend. Couldn't have happened without your assistance. You're a great support to me, and we really appreciate it. And now it's going to be so good for OSR. P.S. Online stamp and retreat, people. If you didn't come the last two times, why not? It's coming up. April 1st is registration. <laughs> and you should see the cards that Bruno's made already. Oh my goodness. All I've got here is a prototype and it was Bruno's prototype. So I probably should get started. I was going to get started, but then I made today's card instead and spent a lot longer than I usually do prepping for today. But Bruno has made, I think, three of his cards. And I tell you what, it's such a cool mechanism. In fact, I think he might have even done four. But yes, it's very cool. You're going to love, love, love that retreat. And if you're in for a little bit of a challenge, you want to learn something new, even if you're new to stamping, you're going to learn tips. Even if you feel like, oh, that's so beyond me. Well, guess what? You've got unlimited access. So when you're ready, you can go back and try it. Most things when you get taught aren't that, aren't that scary. I think it's more in our head. Ah, oh, and even Gina... Paul is in the house, FIFA people, with baby. <laughs> and she's got a nice dessert tea as well. I'm going to have some of my peppermint tea. What else is everyone drinking? Oh, Rosemary Coleman's in the house. Get the honey, Rosemary. Oh, all these special people in the house. <laughs> Susan was there for my first coffee incident. <laughs> Yay! It is going to be the best. Yay! It's so good. I'm so excited. It's happening. And this is this is the other one. <laughs> put it in your diaries. Thanks, Lisa and Gina. Can you run it for me? I'll put all your comments on the screen so that <laughs> everyone knows what's happening. Because you never know what's happening with me. I don't even know what's happening from one week to the next. Oh, so refreshing. I needed this drink today. It is so hot here in Melbourne. It's ridiculous. Yes, the best SOR is coming. First of April. Ah, oh, thank you, Cindy. You're the love you're lovely. So what are we doing today? I'm a bit excited today. Ah, oh, Carrie tried my Joseph coat. See, look at that. She went back to an oldie. Oldies are goodies too. You don't have to do it right away. Just come back. Come back and, you know, play play later on. So we even had some, I had some of the online stamping retreat peeps that were away at the time we went live. And I had a message that they were watching the replay now and it's almost six months later. So well done. Oh, lemongrass tea. You haven't missed anything tomorrow. Just me rabbiting on. <laughs> Just me having a laugh with Lisa. Oh. Lisa Curcio's in the house, people. Oh, starstruck. <laughs> Love it when Lisa joins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having too much fun with these buttons, I'm telling you. <laughs> so we're going to have a lot of fun today because I have got lots in store for you. But before we jump right in and make this stunning card that we're going to make today, let me show you it because I think you're going to be suitably impressed with me, everyone. I did a bit of 
organization. It's amazing what happens when you pre-plan. I take I take my leaf out of Lisa's book and try to be, can I be like Lisa when I grow up? Maybe. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lisa. That's so nice of you. Yes, please, please thumbs up. So this is our card. It'll take a little while to focus, but <gasps> get out of town. I've gone vintage, people. And I don't normally go vintage. This is very unusual for Kylie, so please take a photograph because <laughs> this is very rare and very unusual. But this vintage card here has so many layers and crumples and distinct look to it. And I want to give you lots of tips because... I'm not a vintage girl. Usually I don't go down this path of card making, maybe because I don't feel confident enough to do it. So I thought maybe some of you are the same. I'll just let it zoom in one last time. There you go. Zoomy, zoomy. And I thought maybe some of you feel the same way. So I wanted to break it down for you so that maybe then vintage cards won't feel so intimidating for you in the future. And this stamp set is a stamp set that I haven't inked and I really wanted to ink it up. I just think it's so gorgeous, that B. Um, so we're going to have a play with that and the dies. I know I'm very excited about vintage because it was actually a lot of fun. And I felt like I was learning new things and I think that's an, an important thing in our card making is yeah, we, sometimes we get stuck in a bit of a rut and I think that's when we lose our mojo, when we stick to the same colours or the same style of card. And I think it's good to push ourselves out of our comfort zone every now and then and try something a bit new. Um, and because I'm learning, then I hopefully can teach you as well because we can learn together. That's the best way. It's like, don't be afraid. Just try. If it works, great. If it doesn't, well, keep trying and you'll learn. You love vintage. I'm not a fan of insects. Ah, oh, that's a good one, Charlotte. So you can just try something else. I love bees because I love honey. Honey's the best. I don't think about the stinging bit. I just think about the honey bit. <laughs> if I leave them alone, then they're wonderful creatures. <laughs> now, um, there is a few specials still happening right now. So if you live in Australia, as I mentioned, we would love to serve you and to look after you as one of our customers or maybe one of our team members. Now, currently there is still a special with Celebration that you can actually join. Oh, it's so exciting. I forgot I had the clap attached to it. Um, but you can join for either $210 and get the Boho Blue Mini Scam or the Basic White. Or you can join for $169. And you get $315 worth of product either way, which is just crazy, crazy good. Like, unbelievable. So we've had quite a number of team members that unfortunately had to leave us over the over time because, you know, you can't necessarily always stay or maybe you run out of things to buy. Like, who ever said that ever? But, you know, sometimes things come up. And the one thing that I love about our Crazy Crafters team is there's no pressure and we have a lot of our team members return, which is so lovely. I feel like a shepherd that brings the sheep back to the fold. Welcome back, little sheepies. <laughs> Come back to the crazy crafters. So please, if you have any questions about the joining special, you can just head over to kyliebatucci.com and click on the join now button and join our team today because we would love to serve you. We have monthly Zooms, um, craft class that we do together. We have business building if you want to make this into a business and learn new things. We have so many awesome things that we do for our team. Anniversaries, we have cards, we have different achievements that if people reach then they get rewarded. So we do a lot for our team because our team are very special to us. You're, you're all very special, but our team is very, very special. They get our VVIP service. So we'd love you to be part of that. Now, another thing that is um, to keep in mind for those who are thinking about joining is this incredible online only exclusive products. Now, these products are incredible. They are only going to be available online and we don't know for how long. So they begin on the March on March 1st for customers. However, big tip for all those people out there thinking of joining, you can add these to your starter kit. And that's what Bruno has put up for us just above me here. Add a 
to your starter kit. <laughs> so that's incredible, isn't it? And if you need this flyer or take a picture now so that you can get the numbers because I think a lot of people have been struggling to find the numbers. Even demonstrators on our team are like, where is this flyer? I can't find it anywhere. So please take a picture of this if you need to. And order these if you're a demonstrator because you get a privileged pre-order right now. And if you are a customer, you either can join and get it now or you have to wait until March 1st. Oh my goodness, who wants to wait? Just put in your starter kit and then get like, so much free. I've forgotten the amount. <laughs> I'm like, how much is it for free again? It It's usually 66. I think it's, oh, I have to do the math. I've got my, I've got my phone here. I can actually do the math. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> I love it. It is $146 for free people. I love having my phone available. Normally it's tied up. $146 for free. Why wouldn't you join up? Why wouldn't you? Plus you get free postage. So come on, people. And we've still got those welcome cards to give out. So I think we've only got eight left. So you better get in. Yeah. And the other thing is you can also get, if you decide not to join, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you? But please keep in mind that when you do join, you get the exact same benefits as any other any other customer. So some demonstrators think that, oh, once I become a demonstrator, I don't get rewards, like, you know, the host rewards or celebration items. Of course, you get all of that, but you pay less. So let's have a look at the celebration movies. Ah, here's a new things that have just jumped in. Stampin' Up! are like, okay, you can have some new stuff. So these are all the new items and don't forget that once you join up as a demonstrator, instead of paying $90 and getting something free, you're only paying $72 and getting something free. So everything gets reduced. All of the amounts that you pay, you get 20% off minimum. It even increases depending on what level you're at. So it's a really exciting opportunity. And we have a brand new annual catalog literally around the corner. So it's a fantastic time to join because, peeps, there's new products coming. Not just these. These are brand new and they're about to go. We've got new ones coming. <laughs> I love Anita's point here. I'm going to highlight you, Anita, because it's so true. Joining Stampin' Up! has been the best thing ever and the Stampin' Up! community is amazing. It's so true. It's the best community. I just love being part of Stampin' Up! and it's just been the most amazing opportunity for us as well. So I think that's all of the things that I wanted to share with you. So let's get crafting, people. Is anyone thinking about joining? Even if you're in another country, please tell us if you're thinking about joining. If you've been hovering about, mm, I don't know, I've been thinking about it. We had a few people um, contact us and they're like, yeah, I've been stewing on it for a while. I'm not sure what's involved. You know, what does it mean? Um, and it's just good, you know, do your research. And it was interesting that the lady that I spoke to, she said, I just kept thinking about joining and you kept popping up everywhere. And she goes, I just, I thought to myself, I said to my husband, I have to join Kylie because she keeps popping up everywhere. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> we work really hard to make sure our team are looked after. And um, we're constantly learning too. So we're learning with our team, which is wonderful. So, yes, it's so good. <laughs> Caitlin, can I join again? <laughs> no, you're not allowed to leave the crazies. <laughs> oh, so lovely. <laughs> and that's so true. Vicky makes a really good point here. She said she's met one of the closest friends through Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator. And we are the same. Like, we wouldn't have got to meet Lisa and Gina. I remember distinctly meeting them. And it's just so special, the people that we have in our life because of this company and the friendships that we've made over the years. It's very, very special. So please come and be part of it. See you, Lisa. Thank you for jumping on. Yee! OSR, here we come. <laughs> So let's dive in and do some crafting and we're going to look at some vintage ideas and I'm very excited to share my tips with you because I'm hoping that my 
little idea that I have here. I've got a bit of a keynote presentation for you all. <laughs> got a bit fancy today because, you know, I've got all this fancy equipment. But I'm hoping that I can show you step by step some of the ideas of what I've done in my vintage card. And you can replicate it with other cards. So let's jump on in. Uh, we need to go to... I'm using my little little buttons here. Ah, isn't that exciting? It's so good when it works. I get easily excited though, but you know. <laughs> Do you all love this new setup? I am so in love with it. I feel so professional. Like the sound is right. The internet is working. <laughs> Amazing what you learn over the years. Thank you for all of your support through the hard years. You know, Back in the day when we used a phone, <laughs> who would use a phone now? SLR camera now and a Yeti microphone. Ah, we're, get, we're up there, people. We've made it. <laughs> we're, in, we're in a new realm now. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea, Pauline. I'm going to highlight that one because that is a fantastic idea. For those that don't like bugs, use a butterfly. That is a really, really good idea. I love that. I've closed the lid. Thank you for reminding me, everyone. Okay. What are we doing? Where are we starting? The colour is better and the sound is great. Thank you, Kathy. Winning! <laughs> so I even did the inside, people. No nudies here. You don't have to close your eyes. No nudies. So where we're going to start is this beautiful background. And the cool thing about vintage is you can actually create the background. Of course, you could use paper and it's a great way to do a fast vintage card. But we're going to do it from scratch, which is really fun, especially using this beautiful stamp set. I really love this stamp set. And as I said, I'm not often a vintage girl, but I really love these flowers and this bee i just love all of the flowers through the wings and even the die set here is absolutely incredible so this can come in a bundle if you want the 10 percent off this is a great way to get a discount and i just love i really want to play with this honeycomb even this sentiment die here um i had a lot of fun with this beautiful leaf there's so many great things on here. The little love heart. And then there's the two different types of bees. Even these wings here. I was going to use them, but I just I just loved the flowers so much. I didn't want to cover them. But you can have a lot of fun with both the dies and the stamp set. So that's called Queen Bee Bundle. And you can find that in our online store. If you live in Australia, you can go and purchase it. It was very interesting. I was watching a video and I actually want to give this lady a shout out. Let me get her name because I did write it down. But, and I'll, I'll get um, Anna Hellman. So in preparing for the video today, Anna Hellman helped me significantly. So I want to give a shout out where it's due. So if you want to head over to Anna's, this is where I got my vintage ideas from. And this is what I love right now is that you can support one another, um, get ideas from one another, that you can Google things. And I didn't know how to do vintage. I'm like, oh, I'm so, I've done it before, long time ago, but I'm feeling a bit rusty. And don't you love it when we can all support each other? So Anna, big shout out to you. You did a brilliant video. But one thing I learned from Anna was as I was watching her, I was like, is she a Stampin' Up! demonstrator? I don't know if she is. And then she started using Stampin' Up! supplies. And then I wasn't sure if she was selling them because she didn't mention it until right at the end. And I thought, I'm going to learn from Anna and make sure <laughs> that right at the beginning I tell people because you sort of get used to certain people being on your channel and then you forget to mention who you are and what you do. So I learned a lot from that situation. So shout out to Anna. And if anyone knows Anna, tell Anna that she needs to sell right at the beginning. Or let people know that she sells. Because <laughs> she's got really good videos. But I was so confused. I'm like, is she, stem is she a demonstrator? Is she active? Is she selling? <laughs> she <laughs> We're allowed to say, you can buy from us. We're allowed to say that. But I think some of us get a bit shy. 
But yeah, brilliant, brilliant videos. So definitely check her out if you haven't already. And some of you are saying, yes, you love her videos. So that's great. You already know her. I just have been introduced to the world of Anna. So I'm very excited for her. Now, I've already used one half here that I cut for the base. And of course, you can use whatever color you like. But I really liked the dark early espresso on this one. And you know me, just prepare because I'm probably going to change things as I go because, you know, that's what I do. When I work out the card that I like to make, then we'll change it. <laughs> yes, they're so, so generous. I think that's only fair. It's like if we're doing all of this for free, well, surely we're allowed to say that you can buy from us. <laughs> you can get a tutorial, you can buy, you can <laughs> do all sorts of different things. So did you see how I used the trimmers? Those of you that are new to the channel, I just used the edge and then the bone folder. It's such a great, Bruno taught me this. He uses the, the Stamparatus, but it's so good because now I have a perfectly folded card and I know that it's straight and I don't have to squint with these terrible 40 year old eyes of mine. Um, next up we want to do some, I'm going to do two lots of very vanilla and I'll show you the card template. So if you don't have our card templates yet, oh, what have you been doing? But the card template that I used, I'm pretty sure was, I think I did two of Flirty Flamingo. Yes. So two Flirty Flamingos in the very vanilla. And you'll find this very interesting because See how I've got like a tiny little bit of border here. It's like, well, how come I'm cutting both of the vanillas the same? Well, when we do all our um, exciting vintage look on here, I'm not, not going to give away any secrets, but there is going to be a little bit of shrinkage in what we do. Now, it's not because the water is cold. <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> so we'll do those the, the same so just get your template your tutorial if you don't have our tutorial you can head over to kyliebatucci.com and go to tutorials and you will see our card templates there but they're going to help you to feel confident in your measurements and cutting for those of you on youtube i'll pop up the the link now um facebook unfortunately is very glitchy and it doesn't like me posting things so <laughs> Charlotte got it <laughs> I just heard shrinkage and I just went there <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> now we're going to use some because we're going to use use some I just like neuros we're just going to neuros some <laughs> grid paper if you don't have this grid paper people this is my favorite grid paper by far that Stampin' Up! has ever brought out and I really don't want it to go so can you please all buy it because I really I really want it to stay this is actually for the Stampin' Artist tool but it is just so perfect it's the perfect size it's just you know you can measure with it you can use it for sponging and it's just not big and cumbersome like the other big ones so yes please buy do yourself a favor and it's got two different types of sizes inches and metric and it's just the best so just flip it if it's not your if it's not your thing you can just flip but I love even just using the grids it's really fantastic and that is yes a Stampin' Up product so first thing with vintage that we're going to look at is what you can do and this is where I'm going to test to see if my little presentation is going to work so let's just do this Ah, he just bought some. Oh, that's exciting. So let me see if this is going to do its thing. Oh, I'm a bit nervous, everyone. Okay, here we go. I think it's worked. So, yes, it looks good. So these are my vintage card tips and ideas for you. So by the end of today, I'll have all the bullet points all in one and then you can take a screenshot of 
all of the tips that I'm going to give you today. But the first tip we're going to do, and this is for me to remember because I thought, you know what, I'm going to forget this. This is so typical, Kylie. But we're going to do some sponging using daubers or blending brushes. So I'll show you both of those examples so that you know what I'm talking about because there's two different ways that you can do this. So firstly, we want to do a bit of stamping. I'm just going to do a little bit and then we can do a bit of sponging and we can do a bit more stamping and that's really cool. I know it's a bit high tech, isn't it, Patricia? I feel really fancy because <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> but it's very exciting. I'm progressing, people. I'm progressing. <laughs> now, we've got our sponge brush here and I've also got my daubers, so I want to show you both. But the cool thing with daubers is that you can sort of get like a really nice edge to your project. So if I go to, I think I might do the soft suede actually, just to show you, because we can do like a little trial run. But I actually find doing, like having small, sorry, I'll just flip this over so it doesn't keep falling down. There we go. I like to do small amounts of sponging and then build up because I'm I like I get a bit worried I'm gonna go OTT. No, you don't need DSP, Margaret, which is amazing. It's we're we're literally no love at Chopper today, which is I know, it's a shock. <laughs> what is going on with Kylie? So with our sponge daubers, I don't know if any of you have these sponge daubers, but they are so brilliant and look they fit on your finger they don't fit on Bruno's finger unfortunately they're not made for male hands but they're great for us <laughs> and so you just do a little bit of dabbing not this dabbing but this dabbing that was for you Jesse. I see you're in the house and you just flick the edge so see how I'm just going just against there and I love that for getting that really nice edge of color and it doesn't look like much but you can build and then we've got obviously our brushes now which is so good I love these brushes so much but before the brushes were here this is how I would sort of get this sort of vintage edge and you can sort of flick into that area there and then you can even start circling and doing this but I find the brushes so much better for that type of thing. So let's show you how we did the brush. Now I used the same brush for all colors. You've just got to make sure that you've got your scratch paper, your grid paper here, that beautiful mini grid. And I'm just going to circle. You can see I'm doing like a circular motion. And with the crumb cake, I mean, it's not too bad, but you can just sort of dab it off a little bit. Ah, another dab. <laughs> So then you just circular motion, come off the grid onto your card. And I think that's the hardest thing. And I'm being very light. This is like over the top, like, like light as a feather. You don't have to go hard. And you do want to stay in that circular motion because if you don't, you're going to end up getting like, a line of ink or you know you, if you hit it it's just it's going to end up having it's not going to be what do you call it soft and I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> what am I even saying <laughs> but yes it's just not going to have that that soft look to it <laughs> it's like vintage gone rogue <laughs> So we start with the, well, I started with the crumb cake, but you start with whatever you like. And then from there, because with the crumb cake, I can actually go quite far into the, the card. Um, and you know, I still want to leave a little bit of very vanilla in there, but I do want these edges to be sort of the vintage look to the card because it's, it's always the edges that get knocked around. So there we go. So we've got, you know, sort of more here, heavier in these directions and a little bit softer crumb cake there. Now using the same brush, as I said, we're going to bring in our next layer, which is our soft suede, and just do the exact same thing, but we're not going to go in as far. 
because you can see it's got a lot more depth to it. So already we're building our vintage look. Isn't that cool? Love. And then our last one is our early espresso. So I'll just close up those two. Because you know what happens in Carla's craft room. I'll end up putting my finger in it. Oh, thank you, Beverly. <laughs> yes, that antique look, the vintage look, it's really lovely. Straight away you feel like, oh, taken back. So just, yep, again, dab it off again. This one we're doing a lot less. So it's just in this corner. But whatever you want to do, you can go for go for broke, go harder. But I think just that little bit of subtle vintage is really lovely. Because I want to still be able to see my stamping too. So that is our base. Now it's really good. I like doing this first. I didn't do it first the other time. Uh, last night when I made it and I feel like when I brought the sponging in that it kind of like it looks brilliant but it just took away from a lot of the stamping so now I feel like the stamping will be a lot clearer which is you know I want to be able to see what I've stamped so we're going to use what have I got here yes I'm going to do some mint macaron so the thing with vintage I think a lot of people feel like they can't use color but color is really beautiful in vintage particularly like your softer pastel colors so blushing bride um, balmy blue is another one that's really lovely pear pizzazz and the mint macaron I prefer mint macaron than pear pizzazz but you can do you but I think, yeah, particularly that balmy blue and blushing bright is just so pretty. And we're going to come in with the stamp that has these beautiful leaves and flowers, even though the whole thing isn't green usually. I'll show you what I did to sort of counteract that I'm using all one colour. So I just popped those on the edges there. I do like this a lot better doing the sponging first like yeah it's much much better because you can see it a lot more clearly than in here because it's hidden behind here <laughs> and then you learn from this is the thing the more you do something the more you're going to learn the more you're going to be like yes I liked that technique no I'm going to do it different next time so blushing bride I'm using that little flower there and where the flowers are, you can just stamp that little flower and just cover over the top. No one's going to know. And it's just a good way to, instead of having to colour, because we're doing vintage, so. Is this that cool? Just a really simple way to cover over the top. Yep. Now, what else do we need to do here? I think we need some little buzzy bees flying around. For all of you out there that love insects, this is for you. <laughs> Quick, close your eyes. <laughs> Don't look. So we've got buzzy bee. Now, hopefully my early espresso works. I left him uninked too long. Do not leave your ink pads uninked for too long he was not happy with me last night I said to Bruno I think I'm gonna to have to borrow your early espresso but he looks good I had to ink him up and it really took a long time because I it had dried up so much that I really had to yeah give it time to sort of digest it all and then I even had to use a bone folder to really smush it in and you know layer it out and it's come up good now I think it's looking good I was very concerned about it last night. <laughs> These are butterflies. I like that, Becky. Pretend they're butterflies. La, 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 they're butterflies and not insects. <laughs> now, a vintage card is not a vintage card without some splatter, right? Oh, no, Kylie's been in the craft room. She spilled ink everywhere. Because that's what, you know, people did in the old days. Well, maybe I'm just from the past. You know, they just spilt stuff all the time. Like, oh, 
splotched some ink somewhere. Oh, it's all right. We'll have a baby and her name will be called Kylie. and She'll carry on our splotching around the world. <laughs> uh, you co coexist. <laughs> oh, dragonflies is a great idea, Vaughn. So let's do some splotching that I'm very good at. And this comes in the same set. Oh, we need some words too. Let's do words first. Let's do a few of these because I love a little bit of splotchy words. So if you don't want it too dark, which I don't, I want to just bring it in like this and then you can bring it in like this. And you no rhyme, no reason. And I know it's scary, but you're going to go over the top of your work. <laughs> I know, it's scary. But just, yeah, stick with it. Come all around. Remember, we're going to stick something in the middle, so it's not too bad if we don't have something there. But you can see how I've got different gradients. So we call that stamping off. So you're stamping off your ink so that it's lighter and it has different gradients through there. And <laughs> I'm sure they splattered it on purpose. <laughs> No, but it means that they were accident prone like me, Charlotte. I don't think, I don't think I spilled my coffee on purpose. <laughs> it's like, oh no, what have I done? <sighs> but they were, they were like me. So maybe that's where I got my jeans from. I'm vintage because I'm like splattering coffee all over the place. <laughs> and the same with these splatters. Someone asked, is it Bruno on tonight? Bruno's not on tonight, so you have to help me with, with comments <laughs> because um, he's such a good man. He's gone to a funeral today. It's a lady that we haven't met before, but we really, really feel for them because it was all of a sudden she wasn't well. Um, but, yeah, it all happened very quickly. So it was a lady from our church. So he said, you know what, I'm going to go. We were going to watch on Zoom. He was going to be watching on Zoom while I was live. But he said, no, I, th I would really like to go in person. So he's a very good man. Now, what else do we need? I think we've got all our base happening. I feel like we could put a little bit in here just in case you can sort of see it underneath um, the butterfly. Just in case. Funny, I didn't know that so many people had an aversion to bees. But I suppose, you know, if you've been stung when you're little. Remember when we first got Bella, she got stung on a poor little thing. She kept licking it. I'm like, what's going on? She had a bee sting in her paw. I was like, oh my goodness, how did how do I protect her from bees? <laughs> This is terrible. Now, what is next, peeps? I think what we should do is something very, very exciting. I think you're going to enjoy this one. So let's see here if it's on our list of items. Let's have a little check. Ah, Here we go. So we first we did the sponging we've done that what's our next step mr what no oh my goodness how are we going to do this everyone <gasps> we are going to crumple it's crumple time crumple time now i find using the stamp and mist is a really great idea one because it's sort of diffuses that ink because we want it to look vintagey doesn't want to be crisp so i'm just going to do a couple of sprays directly on there and then a couple of sprays over on the back and then we're going to do this <laughs> i'm evil <laughs> oh you missed it because <laughs> i didn't have my camera on ready this is this you're ready to receive what i've done I'll do, I'll do a reenactment. Two sprays. <laughs> Charlotte, no! Okay, you ready? Switch cameras, Anita. <laughs> yes, I just did that. That is our work, people. 
I'm evil. What just happened? Oh no! <laughs> what have I done to our precious work? But please stick with me because this is vintage, people. And I love using the stamp and mist because it just gives it that. Like, look at these edges. Look at this amazingness. It just looks so good. And you, normally it's very, very difficult and you can hurt your hands too. So I don't want to hurt your hands. So it just softens all of that cardstock. It softens the ink and it gives us this amazing vintage piece of work. Well, you're a piece of work, Gaili Batucci. Now what we're going to do from here, which I found really fun to do actually, we'll do it with um, soft suede get your sponge again oh just dipped my finger in there and go over that crumple bit this was one tip that Anna gave and I thought oh Anna you're a genius and it just really highlights all of those <laughs> shut up <laughs> Highlights all of those crinkles because now we are going hardcore vintage people. Now, the next thing that we can do with our card is you can actually do some sanding along the edge here because, you know, vintage cards, when it's crumpled like this, it's not going to be intact. It's going to have rips and tears and all sorts of things. So what we can do, I don't have a sanding block, but one thing that Anna recommended was just getting your snips and giving it a little bit of a distress feel along here now because this is still a little bit wet of course you want to be careful but I kind of want like little indentations in here and like it's got to get really grungy right and if we rip a bit eh, it's all good I know it sounds weird but this is the bit about vintage that I love it's like ah <sighs> Think of someone you frustrated with and then just move on and love them again. <laughs> I love you again, Jesse. <laughs> this is your head, Jesse. Now I love you. <laughs> no, Jesse hasn't done anything wrong. <laughs> I'm just stirring. <laughs> so there you go. So that's another little suggestion. So if we go back to our cool little display here, what else do we have? So sanding using scissors for a rough edge. Isn't that cool? So that's another tip. Now, what else have we got on the list? Oh, <gasps> no. What? Tearing paper. Oh, no. We need another gasp. <gasps> yep, we're tearing paper, people. Let's have a little look. So if we get this one, and we're not going to tear it like crazy, let me go to the right one. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I think this corner is leaning itself to want to sort of be rolled. So we'll just do some rolling. And I like that. I didn't actually put that on the tips, but I like a little bit of a scroll. Let's go back to the papyrus days and scroll up our scroll. And over on, yeah, I think this side here, we're just going to do that. Oh, oh my goodness, we just ripped the edge that we just did. <laughs> so it's not too crazy. I think you can all manage that much, that much tearing. It's not like huge tearing, just a little bit of tearing. <laughs> and I just love, because we've done all this sponging, I love how it reveals like part of that vanilla there. Now, what we can do is just sort of smoosh that out as much as we can because we're going to stick this down now. Isn't that exciting? Do you love our background? Was that fun? Did you enjoy that? Oh my goodness, I enjoyed that so much. I feel like all my frustrations have left me. Crunching up paper, tearing it. It's like, yeah, this is much better than doing like kickboxing or something. <laughs> Charlotte, <sighs> did you like my gasp audio? <laughs> Was that what you were doing at home, Charlotte? <laughs> there we go. 
Now, watch this here. This is so interesting because remember, we cut these both at flirty flamingo size, didn't we? So you can see here, it's definitely changed in shape. So you just got to, and this is the cool thing about vintage is you don't have to be absolutely perfectly spot on here, but you know, I'm going to try and get as close as I can. So I've just used my Tombow and it doesn't matter if bits are still sticking out. I kind of love all this like sort of sticking up still. We can even make that. Isn't that fun? It's like, uh, I feel like I'm being a rebel. <laughs> if you feel rebellious come and do some vintage <laughs> so there you go that is our base what do you think they fall yep this is the shrinkage this is where we jump in the cold pool well the boys do anyway <laughs> the boys have jumped in the pool now what else do we need to add to our vintage card so i think we'll cut some of these but first we'll do our B or butterfly or dragonfly, whatever you prefer. And I really loved the idea of doing it on, oh, thanks for the love hearts over on Facebook. I saw them come up on the screen. <laughs> How lovely. Now I'm going to use, Jesse, you're going to be really proud of me. I'm going to my scrap pile over here. Oh, look at all the crumb cake I've got scrapped. All the scrappy scraps. All of it comes in useful, all the off cuts. And I am going to stamp that in early espresso. <laughs> Reminds me of a Seinfeld episode. I love it. <laughs> I love Seinfeld. Such a cool show. Yeah, I think the espresso is behaving itself now. Oh, much better. So you're not going to have like a super duper crisp image when you're doing it on crumb cake. But I think, you know, again, that adds to the vintage look, right? And you could color this if you wanted to. Now, the other thing that I wanted to stamp, you may be wondering, where did I get this sentiment from? Well, I just wanted to highlight the, because I thought today with a few that um, at the funeral, I thought that would be a really nice sentiment to stamp give to our friends but this is actually the celebration stamp set that you can get for free with a $90 purchase here in Australia so this is a freebie one isn't that great and we can send love to others so I've used the sending thoughts and prayers and you can just stamp that one thing I did find with this one I think it might have been my ink though you just wanted to be want to be really light-handed in how much ink you put on this particular one because the sentiment is so fine and even when you push down no rocking just really direct on but not firm you just want to softly softly but consistent pressure because yeah you might end up I kept ending up with like blobs here on the S and a little bit here there's a little bit you can see here on the S but it's pretty, it's a pretty consistent one there. So just keep that in mind. And this one I'm going to snip. I feel like this is double. It is. I'm like, why does that feel so, so heavy? So just eyeballing. And again, it's vintage. So you're forgiven if it's not straight. <laughs> I love the vintage era. Just do whatever. It's survival mode, people, in the vintage era. We've got things to worry about, like how are we going to eat today? Okay. You all enjoying this so far? I'm having so much fun with this card. I think Bruno was a bit shocked last night. It's like, what? Kylie's gone vintage. What even? So there we go. There's that cute little sentiment. Because I didn't want anything too big. I'll just let it zoom in. There we go. I didn't want anything too big. And I didn't want it to overpower what was already there. And I thought that was just a really nice sentiment for that um, particular card. 
Now I'm just going to cut this out a little bit. So I've just sort of gone around it and then we're going to use our magnificent dies and our burr blue mini skim. You know that I'll never stop saying that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's so cute, that little laugh. Jessie was watching, she was like, I was wondering what where that laugh was coming from. <laughs> what was going on? <laughs> there we go. Yes, you could even distress the sentiment. But one thing I thought to, I could possibly even do a little bit of sponging actually, Caitlin, because I was thinking I could distress it, but um, I didn't want it to, I still want to be able to read it. And so that was the one thing I was like, oh, I've got to be careful not to go too OTT. Now we've got that and our dies are, where are your little dies? Come to mama. Oh, there they are underneath our stamp block here. So we've got our little bee. I kept the little sticky bit on because I didn't want to waste it. I used it last night. I thought you can just stay there. Then you're ready to go for tomorrow. Then you can make me look really organized. <laughs> Not <laughs> try to be. I actually got up early today, everyone. Can you believe it? I got up at eight and I rode my bike. What? I just spin class this morning. Normally I'm rolling out of bed like... <sighs> yes, I've been doing a little bit of Mel Robbins and five, four, three, two, one. Get out of bed now. No snooze buttons. Okay, we ready? It's very difficult, but I've done it two days in a row. I'm very proud of myself because I am a prolific snooze button person. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad. Okay, ready? <laughs> she giggle. Oh, if I got the right. I feel like I'm not doing anything. What am I missing here? What what um what is going on here? I feel like that one would be all right, but maybe it's not big enough. We'll do the next one. Maybe we'll use Oh yeah, we'll use number 3. Actually, Stampin' Up! did put out a um, weekly update about using number three if you wanted to, which is very exciting. I was very happy to see them update that, although this doesn't even feel strong enough. We'll see. We'll see if it cuts. If not, I might, because that was the thing that they said in the update is it depends on your, oh yeah, that worked, but it depends on your machine how tight it is, and it does need to be tight. So if you struggle, oh, someone's at the door can't help you maybe I can go on my ring doorbell I don't think it'll be anything I have to sign for oh yeah it's just he's just dropping it off and being nice don't you love it yeah gone already has he dropped off my parcel <laughs> have you dropped something off <laughs> what'd you give me uh, is it stamping up come on I don't think we've got any deliveries due. We've done a little bit of an order. I had a few things. Tear and tape. Got your tear and tape, Jessie. Jessie's never used our Stampin' Up! tear and tape. I was like, what? What sort of a employee am I? Employer am I? How could I not have given you tear and tape? Oh, look at that guy. So good. I'm a little bit, little bit off, but I think it's pretty good. I have to say myself. Yeah, if I just say so myself. Okay, let's get some. I need to do a bit of a tidy tidy in here. I feel like there's floating dimensionals all over the place. I am finishing off these ones though. They're not back in their queer case like they should be. Ooh, could be some swaps. Yes, the Crazy Crafters team, we did a fun fold swap. It could be Megan Lacornu swaps, actually. So I've just done a dimensional on there. And we've got to lay you down. Ta-da! Look how happy he is. Now, I am going to make one change. I am going to use, because on this I use the... I don't know what this is. What is this? Literally gone it has left my brain 
no, it's not returning. I'm like, it's going to come. It will come eventually. But I'm going to use mint macaron because I feel like it will really, like it will be a little bit darker, but I feel like, anyway, we'll have a look. We'll have a look at the two. We'll do it. We'll do a, um, a guess. Here we go. So I've got the name on it. Who are you? Oh, soft sea foam. Oh, yes. It's not a colour I go to, so he's not memorable to me. He's not in my importance list of remembering. He ain't no VIP. That soft sea foam. Now, let's bring in our Boho Blue Mini. And we'll cut this. It's good using all these scraps. Hopefully I've got enough on this one to do the next, next cut. There we go. Whee! Oh, look how gorgeous and detailed that is. Caught it, people. <laughs> you didn't drop. Isn't that beautiful? But one thing I did find with this is you could use your adhesive sheets quite easily because it's quite firm, like it's not flimsy like some of the other ones. So actually, yeah, good idea to use your adhesive sheets. I know that they're in Bruno's room and I'm not getting up because I saw them in there last night because he was doing his OSR project. And I was like, ooh, he's stolen the adhesive sheets. How could he? That's my job, just to see what he's stolen from my room. Get your own adhesive sheets already. <laughs> sharing is caring. Until it's my craft room, then I'm not sharing a thing. <laughs> I'm getting all vintage, like, vintage, like, protection. Because, you know, they had to protect their land. and <laughs> Remember that Miss Universe? Um, I feel like a, yeah, I would just like, we, I, Americans don't know where like countries are because like they don't have maps and stuff. They need more maps and then they'll know where places are. <laughs> okay, let's test it. <gasps> I really like it. I think it's really nice. Like it's a little bit stronger. And we could even add a little bit of vintage to this one just for you, Caitlin. Hey, we'll add a little bit of grunge to the leaves. Ooh, yes. It looks very, very good. Let's bring my little cup over a bit closer. I like having all of these tools handy. Aren't they great in my OSR cup? <laughs> so what are we going to do? I think if we just get our little sponge door, because I don't want anything too crazy. And I'll bring back my scratch paper. And we'll just do, I think I need a little bit more on here. Yeah, I think it looks pretty too. So we don't need a huge amount, but just sort of tone down those like make those leaves look a little bit more vintage because they were looking a bit stark yeah so I'll compare it with the other one because it doesn't look like it's doing anything but I promise it is We'll compare the pair. Okay, so. Can you see the difference? It's a very subtle difference, but I see it. I just think it's got that. It's toned it down a little bit. I think it really, it sits into the card a lot more, doesn't it? Yeah, we've got love hearts from Facebook. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
It's amazing how it, like a little bit of dauber dauber and sponging. It really is so much fun, and you get really inky. Like I have got so much ink all over me this morning. I'm like, what's on my hand? I'm like, <clears throat> I was doing vintage last night. I was inked up. <clears throat> There we go. Oh yes. That looks really, really good. I feel like this is reminding me of Athens, these little vines, like the Olympics or something. I feel like, I feel like I need to have the Olympic crown there we go. I'm a winner. Yay! Just one, the hundred meter run naked. It was a naked run, as they like to do back in the day. It's a bit unusual, if you ask me. It's not a tactic I'd go for, really. A bit painful. <laughs> what were they thinking? Crazy people, crazy vintage people. <laughs> That's the reason why they're not alive now. <laughs> so we're going to do the edges. <laughs> yes, just play, have fun. We sponge everything. But I do agree, Caitlin. I think this is a, a brilliant, brilliant idea to give this a bit of sponging because I think it's really going to ground it so nicely. Genius, Caitlin, genius. You're a smart cookie. And you can still read it, but it's just, oh, how lovely is that? Yeah, that's done it. Bravo, bravo. You get, you get one of those too, Caitlin. You can wear a crown too. This is for you. Dun, dun, dun. I'm inaugurating you with your crown. Caitlin, I'll wear it for you for now. There you go, Caitlin. Your crown is on. Bravo. It's very cute. I really like it. I think I should go out one night with that on. <laughs> no one will look. No, nothing to look at here. It's perfectly acceptable behaviour. So let's do a bit of that. And we're just going to do a little dot, 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 dot. Very light squeeze on your glue. But as I said, it's probably better to get adhesive sheets for this one. <clears throat> and I've just left one for me to hold. <laughs> you could probably leave two. One to hold and one to use to flip. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not too stressed if some of them sort of stay flying around the place because that's what leaves do. So some of them can stay up and some of them can be down, which I think looks really good. So maybe we'll just do sort of every second one where we don't do all of them. That would be good, wouldn't it? We'll leave that one. And then that gives me plenty of places to grip. <laughs> Clever. And we'll pop that there. And your tweezers could be good in this situation. So because this is on this crumpled paper, you just need to be patient when you're pushing down, which is so not me. But I'm telling myself, Kylie, be patient. Just hold it for a little bit longer than you usually do so that it'll stay there. Yeah, it's much better. It is very happy. Good. Yeah, you're staying there. <laughs> now, I didn't raise this, but I think I'm going to raise it this time. I've got my minis, my minis here, so it's a good, good chance to use some of these. And I might have to, oh, no, they seem okay. I was thinking they might be even too big, but we'll just put three on here. One, two, three. There we go, we'll put the lid on this. I know, I'm amazing. 
I really am learning people. <clears throat> Don't get used to it because literally there's a train crash around the corner. <laughs> no, I better not say that. That's not very good to say, Kylie. You are a, a confident, amazing woman. You're going to do great things. You are organized. Yeah, you are. You are professional, Kylie. Stop saying you're not. You are a professional person with leaves on your head. So I think we'll put that around there. Oh, stinking. Love this card. Oh, my goodness. Do you love this card? And I'm so not vintage and I so love it. Oh, doesn't it just frame it beautifully? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yes, you could even do that. That's very true. I like that, Caitlin. Coming up with all the suggestions today. There we go. Now, if you wanted to, you could even sponge that underneath a little bit just so that it's not so stuck. But I actually really like that. I think that it draws attention to the fact that that sort of vintage base is sitting on top. And then all we need to do is just a little insert because, you yeah, know, we don't want a nudie card. We're not going nudie. And you could do this with your envelope as well, of course. Pop a few of the stamps on there. So I just did this the Poppy Parade size, if you're wondering what, what measurement this is. It's Poppy Parade. And if you don't know what on earth I'm talking about, then you need to get our card templates to understand what I'm talking about. Now I'm just going to do just a few things on here. We don't need much. I'll do... Oh, we'll sponge first. What about sponging first because that looked really good on the front it made a big difference actually so i'll use my crumb cake first remember circular motion it's actually early espresso the background i think someone said it, the black but lena yeah it's actually early espresso just to go with the ink I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to go very crazy on the inside. Just a light sponge. And we'll add that one. Oh, my goodness. How beautiful is that? And then we'll add our flowers. Because, you know, we need flowers on the inside. So pretty. And should we put another buzzy bee? For all of the, all of you out there that love the buzzy bee. <laughs> this is for you. Look away. Oh, we need a little bit of grunge too. A little bit of Kylie coffee splatter. Oh no, she spilled a coffee again. Oh, oh no, it's just splattered all over that beautiful picture. Look how grubby that picture is now with all those splatters everywhere. And where did you go, little bee? Are you hiding from me? Oh, there you are. You flew away over there. Now, which way do you go? I can't even tell. <laughs> I'm like, what am I looking at? <laughs> oh, yeah, there you are. I was like, what way is the right way? There we go. Yay! Oh, Because, you know, the inside's just as important, right? You agree? I agree. I think the inside is very important. So let's do this. It's amazing how just adding the mint macaron leaves have just made this card look completely different. There we go. And that's on the inside there. 
Dun, 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 dun. What do we think, everyone? So you can see the difference. This one was when I just re-inked. <laughs> it was very dark. But I do like that sort of, yeah, lighter tones. But if you wanted to keep going, then you could obviously keep going with that. And the difference between the soft sea foam and the mint macaron. And then we've sponged that mint macaron. So it does have a really different look to it. Gorgeous! Yeah, they're too plain when you don't do the inside. They need they need something in the middle, don't they? Oh, thank you, Donna. <laughs> Yay. Oh, thumbs up. I'm very excited with those. I think, yeah, just really, really beautiful. And you could change it out so easily. So let's just go back to our, because we've got a few more things to add to our list, our list of um, card tips and ideas. Let's finish off these. So what else have we got here? Oh, this was a really interesting one. We didn't do this one together, but you can use your water painters to actually um, sort of soften, like make it bleed out. So say if you used flowers or something like that, and it almost gives it like a watercolour look. And you can go over to Anna's video to see what she did with that. It was a really great idea. I liked that tip. And yes, for splatters, and if you don't have that splatter stamp, then you can use your water painters. Just get a little bit of ink and then just tap it against your hand. And that will give you some really cool splatters on your work. And also making sure, I did mention it, but you can use crumb cake and then use some colour. I actually will show you that. I really did want to show you. I'm going to use, I know this sounds really random, but I'm going to use, yes, that's the right one, the Wink of Stella. <clears throat> I don't know if a lot of you knew that you can do this, but I'm just going to grab one of my blocks and just sort of, again, dab it in there. Just a little bit of ink we need, not anything crazy. And you can use your Wink of Stella just make sure that it's got its wink. It's got its winkiness. I think I actually need to refill my, well, I need a new one. Maybe this one's got, I think that one's, oh, maybe there's a little bit left. Yeah, there's a bit here. So you can actually use your Wink Estella to colour as well. And so we can come over here. Oh, sorry, you don't have the screen. <laughs> I just remembered. Uh, down facing. I remembered everyone. Proud of me. So you can just come in here, I've put it on the block and you just use your Wink Stella to colour in those leaves, uh, the flowers. So I've got the Blushing Bride and it's going to look a bit like really dark to start with but of course this is going to dry and then you're going to be left with this just a really subtle like about a little bit of colour. And it's cool using it with the Wink of Stella because then you're going to have the shimmer to go with it as well. So let me see what you can see there just to make sure. I might even... Oh, I wonder if I can zoom in a little bit. I'm getting a bit technical. <laughs> can I zoom in on here? Oh, I don't want to touch it. I'll have to learn how to zoom in. I'll just come to you. <laughs> So there we go. So you can see there, and I'll just bring in a little bit on here. I don't want it sort of all in the, just in the middle. A bit more haphazard there. And that will dry. We'll use the um, heat gun. And isn't that cool? Then you just get your scratch paper, <clears throat> wipe it off until it goes clear. Thank you, Wink of Stella. Isn't that great? And there still is some in there, so that's good. So I'll just give this a blow, blow wave. Just to speed up the time. So I want you to see it when it dries.
Wow. So, yeah, very subtle. But, you know, everything about this card has got, like, those subtle things. Look at the little shine there. Can you see those flowers? Wee! Isn't that cool? Oh, yes, we can do the little heart too. That's a good idea, Caitlin. She's got all the ideas today, and I like them. Do the heart. Oh, better clean that off before I use it again. Yep, all happy. Clear. Clear. And again, we'll heat that little heart there. Isn't that cool? So there you go. So that's another idea as well. It's doing the colour on the crumb cake. And I really love that look. You can go for it and just add. And it's, you know, subtle, just barely there. But it's just another addition that you can do on the vintage cards. Don't feel like you can't use colour and that it's just monochrome like it does you can use other things so back to our tips and ideas so we did the color there yes and you can use pastel colors so that's all of our tips what do you think so you can take a picture of this <laughs> which way am i facing everyone I, I better have a look oh yeah i have to go that way <laughs> my tips <laughs> take a screenshot <laughs> and I hopefully this helps you because I think yeah there's just some really cool little ideas there actually I better move my head um down a little bit can I move that down why are you not moving little oh it's because I'm on there <laughs> maybe because I'm live you can't do it I did check to see if my noggin was in the way. And of course it is. Of course my noggin's in the way. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that it's not letting me move it. Maybe if I go smaller. Can I go smaller? Ah, it's not letting me do any. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> okay, I can move now. There we go. That's a bit better. I'll lock that again. Lock. <laughs> so there we go. Now you can take a screenshot where my noggin's not in the way. <laughs> Yay! Do you like that? That was fun. <laughs> They're good tips, and I like having it all written down too. Oh, the watercolor! I the watercolor pencils is a great idea. Oh, I'm so happy, Charlotte. So, do you love them? Are they? Ha are you happy with those? I'm very happy with them. Let's bring them back here. Oh, the contrast is a little bit. <laughs> Maybe if we go back a bit more, make sure I don't run over a dog. Oh, it's even worse here. <laughs> I might have to go up close. I have to figure out the contrast to make it right. So, you know, there's still things we're learning, but I think it's better when I face them downwards. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Yay. I'll do that one though. You can see that nice and clear isn't that cool <laughs> yay very very fun can you believe we ripped it and tore it and did all those things to it my goodness the poor paper <laughs> it's been through the ringer so thank you all for being here. It's been wonderful crafting with you. It's a very hot day here in, in Melbourne, so I'm definitely going to be putting the fan on, having my iced peppermint tea. What are you all doing with your day today? Does anyone have any questions they want to ask me while I'm here? I'll do, I'll do my down facing so you can at least see my hands. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm saying goodbye because um, we had a full power outage here and everything shut down, no internet or anything. And um, the front facing camera then said to me, um, I am too hot and I can't turn back on. 
<laughs> so there you go. Just as I was saying, I'm professional. I'm amazing. <laughs> so anyway, big hugs to all of you. Sorry I didn't get to say pro proper goodbye. And we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. Big, big hugs. Love you lots. And if you need any help and you live in Australia, let us know. We're happy to help you. Big hugs. Bye, everyone.